On January 4, 2009, the Kepler science team announced the discovery of its first five exoplanets. These are planets that orbit other stars outside of our solar system. So far, as of January 5, 2010, there have been a total of 417 extrasolar planets discovered, almost all of them found by ground-based observatories. The Kepler spacecraft is designed to look for small, Earth-like planets that lie within what is known as a habitable zone. This is the distance from a star that would allow for the presence of liquid water. Kepler is looking at over 100,000 stars in one region of sky, all at once, with the goal of finding planets with the potential for harboring life. Throughout its mission, it will be looking at the area of sky in the constellation Cygnus the Swan and has a very large field of view that allows measuring many stars at one time. By staring at the same spot in the sky for a long time, detailed measurements can be collected of all stars in the region and a record kept of their brightness and any variations that exist over time. While these first five planets discovered by Kepler are larger, Jupiter-sized worlds, this discovery affirms that the systems on Kepler are working well and that the science team will meet its goals. The first five worlds discovered by Kepler were unceremoniously named Kepler 4b, 5b, 6b, 7b, and 8b. Since we are very interested in finding life elsewhere in the universe, it makes sense to look for planets more like our own. Kepler's instruments are among the most sensitive ever created and are designed specifically for finding Earth-sized worlds. Kepler detects these planets by accurately measuring tiny dips in the brightness of a star as a planet moves in front of it to within 10 parts per million. Since a planet the size of the Earth is so much smaller than the size of a star, these variations are extremely tiny and require sensitive instruments to record. The glare of the star can easily hide these worlds from us and great care must be made when trying to find them. Detecting Earth-sized planets as it passes in front of a star is a lot like observing a fly as it crawls across a street light at night from many miles away. With Kepler, we hope to find many Earth-sized planets from which we can begin a systematic search for life elsewhere in our galaxy, and finally begin to answer the question, is there anyone else?